What's going on everyone, D-Legend here. Today we have an epic mail day video with a lot of different 5Ds products and a lot of other Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. So be sure to stay tuned for all of that. Before I start the video, I wanna ask you guys to subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon content in the near future. And yeah, let's get started. So first and foremost, I picked up a slab and this guy is really awesome because he is one of my favorite artworks for a specific card. This card is probably the most famous card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, obviously not this specific artwork that I have in my hand, but it is a beautiful card nonetheless. And we have a PSA 9 Shonen Jump Magazine Limited Edition Blue Eyes, EN068. So I love this card. I really had to pick him up. I got him from um, a guy on Instagram called um, Stray Flexen. So at Stray Flexen with an E in Stray. And... Uh, yeah, he's a really nice guy, and we did a little trade plus cash deal, so I gave him one of my gate guardians and some cash for this beautiful blue eyes, and I absolutely love it. Like, that art is just gorgeous. Love the colors on it. I love the design. It's probably my second favorite blue eyes art other than the SDK art, so I'm really glad I got this guy. Moving on, we have a few other 5Ds items, and I'm going to cut out real quick here and then move on to that. Anyways, moving on, we have another single. We do have Elemental Hero Wild Heart from the um, GX Special Edition. And this one I ordered from a store called Evo Yu-Gi-Oh! And I think they're located in Toronto, in Canada. But they shipped it pretty fast. They got, it got here. Um, it's in pretty good condition for the most part, and it was listed as near mint. I think I paid like four bucks for this, five bucks for this, so not bad at all. Obviously not perfect, um, but pretty clean overall. And the back wasn't perfect from what I remember, um, but it looks pretty good. So I'm happy with that for sure. Would definitely recommend buying from them. They had pretty good prices from what I remember. And we'll stick this in our binder probably. Even though, like, I do want to copy the graded eventually, but I don't know when that will happen. Um, just because this guy is a little off-centered, not perfect, perfect mint condition, so I'm not gonna, probably not going to grade that one. Moving on, we do have a few tins. So we do have some tins that I have opened up in the past. And I'm going to have to make room for these, so I'm going to move these cards off to the side. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, I've got a Blackwing Dragon tin a Dragon Knight Draco Equestin. And last but not least, from the same wave, we do have a Majestic Red Dragon Tin as well. So three 5Ds tins, really, really nice tins. Um, Blackwing Dragon's pro probably my favorite out of the, th out of the three. Um, and yeah, if you haven't seen my opening video for these three tins for my, I think, 1,500 subscriber special or something like that, please check it out. I will leave a little note or a little link to that in the top right corner here a little annotation but uh yeah blackwing dragon tins sealed five beast tins draco Equest sealed and if you guys want to read the back they all have the same packs i believe i think it's uh yeah stardust overdrive unlimited two absolute power force unlimited and two shining darkness unlimited booster packs and then obviously the promo pack for each of these which is slightly different for all of them and yeah this one has Stratos, which is pretty cool, and uh, Cyber Dinosaur, which is pretty cool. Anyways, moving on. These are not super cheap either, but I picked these up in a local deal, so pretty happy with that. Gonna have to make room for our next batch of stuff here. And next up, I have another tin, and this one's a special one. So this is Power Tool Dragon, and this is a sealed Power Tool Dragon tin, which was not cheap, to be honest with you. But I think I'm going to keep this in my collection for a while because I do like Power Tool Dragon. And after pulling the Ghost Rare Power Tool Dragon, if you guys haven't seen that video already, please be sure to check it out. I will leave another link to it in the right here in the bubble. Um, but I had to get a Power Tool Dragon tin for my collection because I pulled Power Tool Dragon Ghost Rare. And what not like what a better way to uh, celebrate this than by actually grabbing the tin for this signer dragon. So these tins are pretty interesting because they do feature two Ancient Prophecy Packs, two Crimson Crisis, and one Raging Battle. The two Ancient Prophecy Packs should be first edition for sure. Uh, the Crimson Crisis may or may not be first edition, um, and that's variable. And then Raging Battle should be unlimited. But uh, 
yeah, it's really interesting how they did things in 5Ds. Like, I really don't understand anything. Because um, the only way you could really get first edition packs in 5Ds was through tins and other special edition things. So, very, very interesting. Um, but hopefully the Ancient Prophecy packs in this and the Crimson Crisis packs in this are also first edition. Just like when I opened up my Ancient Fairy Dragon tin. Um, I'll leave another link to that in the bubble here. But uh, this will match perfectly with my Ancient Fairy Dragon tin for Luna and Leo. So, really awesome pickup here. I got this at a local store, actually. And I got it for not a crazy cheap... Like, it was a pretty expensive price, to be honest with you, for this tin. But these tins are only going up in value. I think they've sold on eBay for about 120 US dollars, 130 US dollars even now, plus shipping on top of that. So not cheap tins at all. And they're only going up in value. So it's really cool to pick up another sealed tin. Moving on to our last couple of items here. I thought this would be a short video, but I guess not. I had to talk a lot. So um, the next item here is a little package here that you can see. So I'm going to take that out off to the side because I do have my address and stuff there but this was really really well packaged and I'll show you guys what's inside so I picked up some packs recently from my good friend um, Dark Magician 81 and he sent us a bonus card which is Light and Darkness Dragon which is beautiful this guy is from the Light and Darkness Power Pack um, from the, I think it's Dark Revelation 4 Special Edition type thing. But it's a really, really cool um, card. And it's a really, like, I really do like the design of that uh, that product. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll probably leave a little picture of it here. But really cool card. Really nice to have it. Thank you so much to Dark Magician 81 for this card. Really nice card. And I would love to grade it, but it's probably not the best condition. I mean, it's probably good condition, but just not great centering, as I can see here. Left to right, it's just not perfect. But the card itself looks really clean. So thank you so much to Dark Magician 81 for this. And then we'll go on to our purchase here, which was these packs here. And I don't know if you guys know what this is, but these packs were not cheap either. But they are really, really cool packs, and I love 5Ds now, so I guess I'm going all out on 5Ds. And we do have some 5Ds Duelist Revolution packs. These are unlimited packs, but I do have 25 packs in total, so 5 times 5 is 25, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, right there. So really cool packs. I'm definitely going to crack these open on the channel at some point. Um, he told me he opened up 24 packs by himself recently because he had a big lot of these. Check out his mail day video if you guys haven't seen it already. He made a big purchase of these recently and he pulled some pretty crazy things apparently. So I'm really looking forward to his video for his opening of this pack, uh, of his of this set. But uh, yeah, really cool set to get. And uh, definitely another addition to my 5Ds pack collection because I've got a lot of Extreme Victory now. I have some um, Raging Battle unopened as well. And I also have now Duelist Revolution, as well as the four tins that I have from 5Ds now as well. So that's pretty sweet. And I think that's the end of the mail day, guys. If you guys are interested in buying anything from me on Instagram, please hit me up there at dlegend underscore Yu-Gi-Oh. And yeah, I will leave links to everything in the description of this video below. Uh, but yeah, catch you all soon, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Peace.